All right, friends. Well, as always, appreciate you swinging by for today's Beanstalk DAO meeting. And uh, everybody knows the rules at this point. Um, run through the slides. And uh, if there are any questions, they can either be dropped in the Barnyard chat for the voice channel or the barnyard chat channel itself. Try to keep an eye on both of those as we go. Um, should be a relatively quick meeting today. Just a, a couple small items, a couple items to go through and uh, we'll get going. So probably the biggest item, really the only major item on the, uh, the agenda for, for today is the fork migration system and uh, jump right into that slide. So uh, Guy, I'll let you go into a little bit more detail uh, as you see fit, but um, you can see in the uh, Gantt chart that the fork migration system has moved to TBD, um, essentially uh, being put on put on hold for now, um, primarily due to how the price of bean is affecting the ability to uh, pay the uh, the contractors that will be performing or pay the group that be facilitating the uh, the audit. And um, guy. I'll turn it over to you to let you add some more information. Thanks, Rex. Uh, I think you've more or less covered it. The long and the short of it is that uh, given the number of beans that Beanstalk Farms has, le has left and uh, given amount, the amount of code to be audited in the fork system, uh, yeah, you know, Beanstalk Farms currently can't afford it. So that's the reason for uh, the Gantt chart looking like this. And it's a little bit unclear uh, how to proceed. Of course, you know, in addition to you know, ongoing discussion and commentary that indicate uh, there's very little appetite, uh, if any, from the DAO to continue to fund uh, fund development generally, as well as in particular the the fork migration system. So this is where we're at at the moment. All right. Um, any questions from the group? Keeping an eye on the chats. I don't see anything. I guess the uh, the other note that I'll quickly make. Um, it's a little bit further down in the info deck, but um, you know, as an update to uh, the list of paid contributors at this point, uh, right now I'm the only contributor still on the Beanstalk Farms payroll, and and that really only lasts, I believe, just through the end of the year. Um, so after that, uh, Beanstalk Farms won't have have any contributors on the payroll. And uh, as to whether or not that'll change in the future, I, I guess I would say that's probably up to uh, up to members of the DAO. All right, any other questions for Jump? into um, other updates. Okay, seeing none. Subgraph UI and other updates. Want to open the floor up quickly to the other contributors on the call, just to see if uh, anyone has anything they want to cover. Yes, thanks, Rex. So uh, since the migration to Arbitrum, uh, you know, there were a few of the integrations that had to essentially be restored. So most notably was the CoinGecko uh, and DeFi Llama. Uh, and, you know, that that took a bit longer than we would have liked, but I'm happy to say that we are now back on CoinGecko. So, you know, for th things like the, the, the price and then obviously uh, Basin being on CoinGecko as well. And that enables, uh, you know, the full functionality that we had on, on DeFi Llama as well. So that is all done. Uh, as for the subgraph, um, not, much, not much news there. And I mean, from my perspective, no news is good news. Everything's been been smooth running on Arbitrum. Sounds great. Yeah, I, I've uh, been tooling around just a little bit, you know, over these last couple of weeks. And man, it's nice to be able to form transactions for pennies. So that's a it's a pretty sweet change. Thank you, Soil. Any other uh, any other updates from any of the other contributors? All right, hearing none. I'll just quickly open the floor up. It seems like it's a you know, pretty small group for today, but um, if there are any questions or further comment okay checking the chats i don't see anything so i think this may be it for today well um thanks everybody appreciate your time as always and uh, feel free to tag me in uh, the discussion channels if you have any questions and uh, we will see you next time thanks thanks Rob. appreciate it guys <laughs>